Hi there, I'm John Bond from Riverwinds Consulting and this is Publishing Defined. Today I'm going to talk about being an editorial board member on a peer review journal. The editorial board of a journal provides direction, gives insight into new developments in the field, is an advocate for the journal to the community, and, probably most notably, provides peer review for submitted manuscripts. Editorial boards can vary from perhaps a dozen professionals to more than a hundred. They usually cover all areas of interest within the specialty of the publication. Increasingly, they come from the global community unless the publication is geographically limited. The board is headed up by an editor or editor-in-chief or one of many other titles. Sometimes there might be senior editors or associate editors that help direct the publication and perform the many duties necessary to run the journal. The editor and editorial board serve at the behest of the publisher or association that runs or owns the journal. In most instances, the board serves in an advisory capacity and is not a voting board. As I mentioned, the primary duty of the editorial board member is to peer review manuscripts. Thankfully, this is done via sophisticated online manuscript tracking software. The reviewer can leave detailed comments about the paper and then suggest if the manuscript be accepted, rejected, or sent back for revision. Most reviewers are not asked to edit or rewrite manuscripts, but more to focus on the content. A reviewer might be asked to review a few manuscripts a year or sometimes many more than that. Timeliness of review is important to all publications. Being on an editorial board is an unpaid position. The position of editor and perhaps some other senior positions usually come with an honorarium. Most members are asked to join the board as their career reaches prominence. Some are recommended by others on the board. The requirements usually for board membership are having significant advancement in the field, a track record of writing and perhaps editing, previous reviewing experience, perhaps on other journals or committees, and if an association publication, being a member of the association. Some journals entertain self-nomination to the board. Sometimes board members will serve a specific term of a few years other times, it is at the discretion of the editor. Change on an editorial board is a good thing. It allows new ideas and new perspectives to keep the journal fresh. Editorial board members are the backbone of the scholarly journal system. They ensure the quality of the content and the integrity of the peer review system. There has been much discussion about this uncompensated work recently. Stay tuned to see if the industry moves towards a new model for compensation versus simply career recognition. Well, that's it. I'm a publishing consultant and work with associations, publishers, and individuals on a host of content-related challenges. Reach out to me at riverwindsconsulting.com. Hit the like button below if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or click on the playlist to see more videos about scholarly publishing and make comments below or email me with any questions. Thanks so much and take care.